there's a really uh, great diner scene. He's just sitting across from him, across a little dining table. And there would be times when I was, I was supposed to act, when I just found myself just looking at him going, that is so just weird. Just seeing him do a little double take. He looked at me and then did a little of that, looking at me, it was, it was really thrilling. It's really a strange thing to see someone that looks like a young version of yourself. It's disturbing, but great. The movie obviously calls for an older and a younger version of the same character. And so we knew Joe was gonna be the younger Joe. We had to find an older Joe. When you looked at the list, it was a very short list. You know, we went to Bruce and we got him. I'm old Joe. He's Joe. I think every guy my age idolizes Bruce Willis a little bit. Bruce is such a good actor and was so right for the part in so many ways. It raised a problem, though, because they really look nothing like each other. The way we wanted to solve this was with actual practical effects rather than trying to do it with computers. Ryan's pretty big on trying to make it real. It was three hours in the makeup chair every morning. I had had the pleasure of working with arguably the best makeup, special effects makeup designer in the world, Kazuhiro Tsuji. Honestly, and I don't throw this word around, he's a genius, like, just watching him work, he's such a consummate artist. We'll just pick a couple key features, alter them just enough to give the audience something to grab onto. It's a subtle difference, there's, you know, a nose, lips, eyebrows, ears, and eye contact lenses. It's also a credit to uh, the guy Jamie Kelman who was on set every day applying the makeup and Jamie and Kazu worked very closely together. The second that Joe put on the makeup, got in front of the camera and started building this character of young Joe, I knew we were gonna be all right. I went into his trailer and no one had told me he was in presenting, so I remember thinking, he looks nothing like I imagined. So I was talking to him for about 20 minutes and then I suddenly thought, God, I'm not talking to Joe Gordon Levitt. I'm talking to his stunt man or something. Like, who am I talking to? And I came out and I said, he looks like he's really different. And they said, yeah, he's in the makeup. And I was like, oh my God. When I first came to set, he and I sat down and talked for a long time. He was in his full look. And so I spent all day with him that way. And then a second day like that. And so when I finally saw him the third night, we all went out to dinner. And when I saw Joseph Gordon Levitt, it was sort of, it felt sort of awkward because I don't know him. You know what I mean? I was like, I know the guy with the blue eyes and like the broad nose. It was weird, it was funny. He doesn't imitate Bruce. He creates a character that feels like a younger Bruce in the movie. And so he's doing a very specific voice and he took on a lot of Bruce's mannerisms. I, I never wanted to do a, a Bruce Willis impersonation, but I wanted to create a character that felt like it could be the younger version of this guy. You know, he worked really tirelessly to, to watch Bruce work and on his films and in interviews just to see how he moved, how does he look, how does he check someone out, how does he do all of those things. It was incredibly detailed work. We both know how this has to go down. I can't let you walk away from this diner alive. So why don't you do what old men do? and die. Why don't you just take your little gun out between your legs and do it? Boy. He picked up some of my cadence of speaking. We were in the middle of doing one of our scenes together, and uh, in between takes at some point, he's just subtly, he's like, man, you sound like me. And I, you know, trying to play it cool, I'm like, oh, thanks, dude. And inside, I'm like, yeah! I more just wanted to have a bit of that Willis flavor. When I would get done with this makeup and look in the mirror, I was there. I mean, it kind of does so much of the work for me. You know, oftentimes when preparing to become somebody else, there's all sorts of different ways you can kind of figure out how to get into character. But changing your face into someone else's face, I couldn't help but stand a little different and talk a little different. That's where this character of Joe started to come from.